about buying a baby walker? You know the device with the little wheels on it, in which you can plop your infant and can gleefully zoom the length and breadth of your house without even learning to walk? Sounds like a fun idea, doesn't it? Well, hold on, don't click the buy button just yet. Hi, I'm Dr. Ratna and today let me take you through the developmental milestone of walking and how does your baby actually reach there? And what effect might a baby walker have on the same? So your baby has been working really hard to learn to walk. Even before he learns to walk, he needs to learn to sit, crawl, pull up to stand and cruise along the furniture. Crawling helps to develop the criss-cross patterning in a child's brain. These milestones help your child learn balance, coordination, perceptual concepts like distance, depth, on, in, under, over, etc. They also help to develop the core and the leg muscle strength gradually and more importantly, helping your baby learn to take his body weight in the right posture and position. All of this eventually leads to strong, stable and confident walking. If you look at all the scientific data which has been published so far on the topic of baby walkers, then there's a clear conclusion that there is no developmental advantage that comes with use of baby walkers. So no, the baby will not learn to walk faster with the help of a baby walker. While the larger scientific data is conflicting with no clear consensus, Numerous small studies have definitely shown that using a baby walker can delay the milestone of walking. In fact, Canada has banned the use of these walkers since many years and even the American Academy of Pediatricians does not recommend the use of these walkers. Let's try and understand some of the reasons why that might be. Well, it can prevent the visual experience of leg movement which plays a critical role in motor development. Because of the ready support it gives, it can cause weakness of the core and leg muscles. It can teach the child to take his body weight in an abnormal position. And it can also encourage toe walking and a tight calf muscle. But the biggest reason to avoid using these walkers is injuries there's a 12 to 50% injury rate quoted in literature. And these are serious injuries, which include skull fractures, head injuries, broken bones, cut abrasions, etc. A baby walker can give your child speed that he cannot control. He can topple over objects, topple down staircases. There can be accidents like drowning. He can reach objects which otherwise would not be in his reach, like sharp objects, coins, hot vessels. So friends, if you found this video useful, do let us know in the comments section below. Also parents, on what topic would you like our next video to be? Thank you so much for all the encouragement you have given to the Enable family. Goodbye for now.